Open up. We got six Bowman Megas from Target. From Target. And a little bit of weed. Who's ready to rip? Who's ready to rip? Who's ready to rip? Who's ready to rip? Nobody's ready to rip because nobody's in here yet. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see who's ready to rip. What up, everybody? There it is. Everybody's finally pouring in. It's good to see you guys. Guys, we got six Bowman Megas, and of course, you got stinkers back there, as you can hear and probably see, attacking the box, doing his job to terrorize everything he must. But uh, it's great to see you guys, man. Hopefully, you're all having a good Friday. Like I said, we finally... Remember about a month ago, guys, I put up a thing saying I got these... Um, these uh, cards on Target, on Target.com. Because after the guy pulled the, uh, a gun on somebody, one idiot pulled another, pulled a gun on another person getting cards all over some baseball cards, Target stopped carrying the cards like in the store. So you had to go online to get the cards. Um, <laughs> which is good in a sense because I didn't like having to physically go there and all the time and be disappointed and not find them and then having to deal with other stupid shit. So it's just easier to wait for a drop online and then be lucky enough to hurt. You know, you gotta be fast, but you know, you'll get them if you're, uh, if you're quick about it. So, um, so in some senses, it's actually good. I guess it's safer for the safety of the shoppers. They decided to do that, which is understandable, you know, safety of the, of the, uh, shoppers paramount to a, store like that i'd assume or it should be if it isn't which i'm sure it is and uh, that's why they took the precautions they did but it's crazy 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 just to see what people are doing for baseball cards today yeah actually pulling guns on each other like that's really what they were doing no joke well, I'm not saying it happened more than once. It just happened once. And there have been several fights, like actual physical altercations. Um, Stinkers is down there, as you can see. <laughs> oh, oh. What are you doing? There he is. There's the star of the show himself, guys. Sorry about the messy house. All right, so we got six Bowman Megas. Oh. We got a cat that's about to get up in the screen. Maybe it's time to start ripping these things. It's good to see you guys. I was waiting for the room to fill up a little bit. Hold on, let me get my water out of the way here because otherwise he's going to go and get up in my ice water. I know him. I know him. So let's hit this real quick. What up, yo, yo? What's up, Catherine? It's good to see you guys. Catherine says, hello, stinks. I know you don't care, but whatever. You don't care about none of us. Thinks you're just all about yourself now. You're the big star, aren't you? You don't want to hang out with us no more. Nothing. Get away from my water, stinker pie. <laughs> Go get your own water, guys. Apologize for the cat ass in the video. He's done his best to come over here and knock those boxes over. Here he is. I know what he's doing. I know what he's... He's up to no good right now, guys. <laughs> he's searching around for something to fuck up. <laughs> he's circling me like the wagons. Would you get? Ah, look at this stinker. Of course, he had to sit right there, huh? Huh, and then eat my knife. See, he thinks he's a dog. Like, what cat just would see a knife and decide to, hey, I need to eat that? Like, cats don't normally do that. That's not like a cat thing. Hold on, guys. Let me fix this, because he's like... He's messed me all up. Oh, yeah. He's messed everything all up here as per usual. That's how he gets his way. <laughs> well, let me just get this going. I got to kind of just move the... Yeah, and see, now he's eating. Look, see, now he's eating the camera. I mean, the, uh, the camera holder. All right, let me hit this really quickly. Because Stinkers ain't going to just let me go. He's, that's just him. He's all up in it. But it's good to see you guys. I am the faded rookie. Not the rated rookie. It's good to see you guys. Remember, tonight, tonight we're going to be live on Smoke and Scan 2. Not the account you're watching, but Smoke and Scan 2. Just look for Smoke and Scan 1-1 on YouTube. 
okay? Because it's still like another um, 18 days until this account is back on normal, okay? So you can follow that. We'll be live on Smoke and Scan 2 tonight, Twitch, uh, Twitter, and DLive. So you choose 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Hopefully you'll join the family, Stinkers, and myself in uh, finding some crime, which we know there won't be a shortage of that. So let me hit this one last time. We'll get into breaking, man. Let's go. And guys, please, if you can, can you just type it in the chat in caps? So it would be make it, it would make it easier for me to read. So, and I know you're not. Uh, thank you, DJ Hard Harvick. <clears throat> See, it makes it easier for me. All right, so here we go. Stinks, get out of here, man. St hold on, Stinks, get out of here. Cause I don't want to cut you, and I know you're gonna. This is a sharp little knife, man. Yeah, guys. Oh, and we I got, forgot to tell you, we got the new sound machine or the second sound machine that we got. Of course, they forgot to send it with the power cord. <laughs> so I got to wait. Hopefully, she said they're going to overnight it to me. So hopefully tomorrow, I'm guessing, or to, I doubt it will be here today but because we got the machine yesterday. Um, so hold on, guys. Let me pull it over a little bit because he's like in the way, of course. Come on, man. And then you move into the way over here. Get out. Out of the way, I love you, buddy, but get out of the way. I love you, get out of the way. Ay, ay, ay. Such a hold on, man. He's just killing it. There you go. Play with the stuff on the ground, kid. Hold on, guys. There we go. Yeah, this is 2021. Yep. The brand new Bowman's. So we're blazing some weed in hopes of getting a Blaze Jordan Auto or, you know, Austin Martin or somebody good like that. So we're looking for them. And I guess some of the rookies too, Mount Castle, Bohm, Brian Hayes. Don't really want Casey Mize. I have so much of Casey Mize, man. His first Bohm and shit. I don't want any more of it. All right, here we go. Garrett Mitchell. Marco Luciano. I said Sheena should be happy. This kid's supposed to be really good. What up, Jan? Uh, same with this guy, Gerardo Perdomo. And Matthew Thomas Thompson. We want to get Cespedes on the White Sox. That's what we're looking for. And Nick York. So there you go. There's pack one. Let me just sleeve these up, guys, because I don't want to stack them because they get scratched really easily. So just bear with me. It'll take a second longer, but... Uh, yeah, we don't scratch the surface. Yeah, they're cool cards, man. They're mega boxes. They're every year everybody seems to love these. Like whoever the big rookie is, you want the mega hit that comes out of there, the mega box hit. I got Acuna, Acuñas and Sotos, those kind of the ones that go, you know, for big, big money. All right, let's see. Uh the Jeter Downs. India five Indy five hundred is his nickname, Jonathan India. And all right, Tristan Tristan Thompson. Or Tristan McKenzie, sorry, Tristan McKenzie. Matt Manning. And Jordan Westbrook. No first Bowman's just yet. We want the first Bowman cards. These are all prospects. So we do want some first Bowman's. And we have not got any yet. But it's early in, guys. We're two packs in. Six mega boxes direct from Target. I've seen some good hits come out of these, you know, for some people that have uh, pulled some pretty nice stuff. I can't lie. So hopefully we get us a nice auto or something. There we go. As we continue on, Ed Howard. That's a good prospect for the... Uh, See, those were our two mega packs, and then we go uh, this baloney. Hold on, this is just giant. Jason Dominguez, 17 year old or 18 year old, I guess now, prospect. Anthony Volpe, the back to back Yanks, Thompson, the Hall, and Ed Howard. So that's what it is. Okay, so I opened them backwards. All right, so the first two packs, hold on, let me see these. Okay, yes, I didn't notice. Okay, so those first two packs are the mega packs. We'll reverse it next time. 
We'll open those two last because those should be the last. These are the regular packs. <clears throat> but this is, you know, what I'd assume we'd get. If we got a hit, these were where they would be over the other packs. Those other packs are few and far between getting the big bomb hits. All right, the baloney kind of base. Joey Bart rookie. Marco Feliciano and Josh Jung. A couple good prospects there. Josiah Gray, C.J. Abrams, yeah, he's good. Just jam through that base, makes it faster, you know what I mean? Nothing really exciting in there, just base rookies. Loved him on the Mets, yeah. All right, Pearson, Bogarts, Goldschmidt, Bell, Betts. Corbin Carroll, people have been talking a little bit about him. And again, Luciano, the one we were talking about earlier. Oh, oop, Alvarez. <laughs> and there's our first first Bowman, at least, uh, Paper Acosta. It was pretty decent. That is our first first paper. Unless I missed him, I missed one in the other paper, you know, but we shall see. I guess I should check it, but whatever. I'll check it after. It's not a big deal. Let's see. Come on. Bryson Stott in the back. Bregman, the card collector himself. This guy's opening card. Oh, Bray, you Tatis. Randon. Malcastle rookie. Bryce Jarvis. And O'Neill Cruz. He had a good day yesterday. He had a dinger yesterday, O'Neill Cruz. He used to be a Dodger. He was a prospect for the Dodgers in like 2016. And I forgot who we got in trade for him. But he was definitely one of the prospects that went away. As many do, I could tell you the last one I can think of that that was pretty good that I was sad to see go was Willie Calhoun. He, he I thought, would be a really good Dodger. And he seems to be every year getting a little slowly better, you know. He's playing for the Rangers. So here we go. Next box. So no autos, nothing big on that one. Just some, you know, regular baloney. You know he doesn't stand for baloney, you know. What movie is that from, guys? Let's see how good your movie knowledge is. All right, so we know now these are your mega box hits. So we'll put those to the side. Nothing left. Anybody know what movie that was from? Charlie Blackman. Yeah, Verdugo's actually starting to hit, catch fire, too, with the uh, Red Sox. It's good to see for him. Jose Gray and Kellenic. Oh, boy. Jared. Jared, Jared. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for it, Stefan. I'm trying. Kellenic just came up and went, got sat back down. He, 90, he only had 96 at-bats, but couldn't even hit. He literally was hitting 96 in 96 at-bats. <laughs> he did have two home runs and a few RBI, um, but, boy, he struggled. He really struggled, so they just sent him back down. Well, hopefully, he absolutely dominates. You know, the first game back in the minors, he didn't get a hit, but he did uh, They did walk in. He did walk in, got an RBI, because <laughs> he was obviously at bat when the bases were loaded. Alvarez and Mackenzie Gore, another pitching prospect they've been waiting for forever. And nothing big. Nothing big. Come on, where's the heat? Where's the beef? Remember the old chick from, uh, the old lady from, um, God, what was that? Was that Wendy's? Where's the beef? I think it was old Wendy's ad from the 80s. Where's the beef? <laughs> Casey Mize, Garcia, Cronenworth, Camposero, Acuna Jr. having a fantastic year. Jordan Walker and Isaiah Green. Nick Gonzalez, Wendy's, right? Yeah, Carson Tyler and Corbin Carroll again. Let me put these out of the way here. <laughs> you guys remember her. Where's the beef? All right. 
Yeah, Blaze Jordan's in the set. He's one of the big ones. Him and Austin Martin, the two that most, I think, people are chasing. I mean, there's quite a few, but those two are ones that are talked about a lot. Uh, Bieber, Yelich, Murphy, Lewis, Scherzer, Bo Naylor, Jose Sali. So we got our first Bowman Chrome first. I got Cavalli and Xavier Edwards. Um... One that I could say was Jonas Cespedes. And I got to tell you, of all, the dude's like a ghost. Like I've, you'll get a, you know, the White Sox have one of like the larger lists of, 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 of prospects. So you'll get a lot of White Sox. But to get that White Sox prospect, he must be one in every like 50. Like I just don't see him a lot. All right. So here's our mega packs, guys. Keon Cavaco on the back. I oh. don't there we go. We got a first. There we go. Get a little better. Antonio Gomez, first mega Bowman. You can't go wrong with any Yankees, really. Yankee fans love their team. We got uh, Garrett Mitchell. Casey Mize, who follows me around heavily. Corbin Carroll. And Keon Cavanco. Keone Cavanco, I think it is. Yeah, it's Keone. Keone Cavanco. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, Yankee fans, they love their team. They don't give a shit. Even if it's a guy who's a flop. Like, a lot of them just want to collect, like, everybody who's ever been on the Yankees. You know, it's just their get down. And I get it. It's not that way. That, it's not that it isn't that way with other teams. Because there are other fans of other teams that do the same. You know, but, uh, yeah. Come on, where's the heat? Let's go. Come on. Big first Bowman. Come on, Blaze. Austin Hendrick. Again, another Luciano. There's two Lucianos now. Perdomo against that same pack. Eh, a little different. C.J. Abrams, futuristic. Boy, Sheena, where are you? Sheena's haunting me right now. Hunter Bichette <laughs> and Austin Hendrick. Sheena, come on, man. Have we pulled enough Giants yet? It's the third Giant. God. Where's, uh, where's Austin Martin? Come on. Where's Blaze? <laughs> oh, yeah, the good old times. It's good to see you guys, man. Thanks for joining me, even though we're not watching a chase. You know, I will see you guys tonight. Hopefully, it'll be another crime-filled night, which I'm always sure it will be. You know? Get a Bobby Boucher playing that foosball. This ain't foosball, though. This is this is baseball. This ain't foosball. <laughs> At this point, I just want to get anything. These, these boxes haven't been pretty lackluster. So there's our two megas. We'll push those together. There we go. Only takes one nice one. That's all it takes. Let's see a nice color refractor or something. Kyle Lewis, Scherzer, Bryant. Is that a great year? Santander. Bobby Dahlbeck has had a good year, too. He's a good young player. Blake Walston and Baron Laura, another good prospect. Kellenic, Duran, and Lacey. Yeah. Yeah, Bay I'll tell you, the Rangers have been bad for so long and traded away other players. They have picks, you know, after picks. So they're starting to get some good players. Josh Jung, Sam Huff. That guy I just showed you there. So they've got a few in the pipeline there for the Rangers. There's a first Bowman, I think. Yeah, he's Nick Maton. Christian Pache, another good rookie. Kiebert got sent down. Luis Patino, Mike Trout. Luis Castillo. Uh, what's his name? Frudius? Frudius? Frudius Nova? Frudius? Frudius. I think it's Frudius Nova. <laughs> Logan Gilbert. Kenzie Gore. Clayton Beater. The new Clayton for the Dodgers, guys. The new Clayton for the Dodgers. Clayton Beater. And our first Bowman. Nick Maiden. The new 
completed. How old is this guy? He was born in 2000. He's, you know, just turned 21. Well, he might not even be 21. Depending on what he, when he was born, what month. All right, here we go. Clay, oh, Keller, yeah. Cody Bellinger, <laughs> Josh Donaldson, Aaron Nola, Gallo, Vladdy Guerrero, Drew Waters, and Lovier Pagrero. Pegrero? I think it's Pegrero. Pegrero? I think it's Pegrero. This guy's pretty good, too, apparently. Aaron Sabato. Another first Bowman. We need to get the Chrome versions, not the papers, guys. We don't want the paper. We want the Chrome. That's what we want. We want the Chrome versions. And we haven't got, I want to say, hold on a second. Let me just go down the list for just a second here, guys. That's a mega. But let's, oh, okay, hold on. There's one. So I'll show you the ratio here, guys. Okay. Now, out of this entire stack of chrome, okay, which is two chromes per pack, we've already opened almost, what, three full boxes, okay? In three full boxes, we've gotten two first chromes, one regular, Jose Salis, Salis, and Antonio Gomez, mega. So that goes to show you how many you get of those compared to you get of the others, Whoop. Uh, that you get of the others, so... It uh, the the ratio, man. It's all about the ratio. <laughs> Stinks! Don't come over here and start wreaking havoc like Godzilla. A little Godzilla over here. Here he comes. Here, oh. go get it. Go get it. No, don't go get it. <laughs> Luis Robert. Freddie Freeman, Tyner Huck, Sam Huff. This was the other guy I was talking about. Dalton Varsha, Jordan Westberg, and Jackson Coward. Salis first, Tarkelson, and ooh, two, two first papers. We got lucky. We got lucky. Not really. <laughs> but at least we got two first papers. We might have got a dollar back right there. We might have. I don't know, but we might have. All right, our, our mega packs. Here we go. Brian, thank you so much. Stinky thanks you. I thank you. Jake Vogel. We're not talking about Jake from State Farm either. Oh, look at that. Hold on. I think we got two in here. There's a Salis. He's following us around, right? Shout out to Jose Salis. Asa Lacey. Luis Garcia, he's having a good year. Jose Tina and a Vogel. Look at that. We got three first Bowmans in this in this pack, in this mega pack. I mean, at this point, that's like a win compared to what I'm hitting right now. I mean, to, you know. <laughs> but you know what I always say, guys? Today's loss could be tomorrow's win. You do not know. It is that way. And hopefully we can pull a good first Bowman. Right, Stinks? Why don't you give us some luck? All you do is scratch deed and don't do nothing good. <laughs> All right. Thank you again, Brian, for the kind of. Um, Xavier Edwards. Royce Lewis. Ooh, an Ed Howard Blue. That's cool. Nick Abel. And Jordan Balasevic. Abel's supposed to be a pretty good prospect, and the Howard should be numbered, right? Or no? Uh, I guess the Howard... Oh, it is numbered to 150. It's hard to see right there. You see that right there? 
He's a good prospect for the for the Cubs. A lot of people talking about this kid. So, and it's Cubby Blue, which can't go can't go wrong with that. I know a Cub fan would love to have that Cubby Blue going on. So that's nice. And hold on a second. Are we supposed to only get four cards? I think we got five. Or am I wrong? Oh no, it's five. Okay, that's. Hey, 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 hey! You ain't going in the card room, dog. You better get up out of there. What's wrong with you? You, you cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs right now? Look at him. Look at you. What's wrong with you? All right, guys. Well, so far, I got to say the Ed Howard 150, unfortunately, and for fortunately and unfortunately, is our best card. Um, I don't know how to look at that. I could say that we're progressively getting better. We finished that box with that that last mega pack was nice. Three firsts and a and a and a and the blue uh, Ed Howard. Can't go wrong with that. What are you doing over there, ding dong? Here. Did you play with that? <laughs> ding dong cat. Ding dong cat. That's what he is. He's a ding dong cat. Okay, Chris Bryant, Santander, Whoop. Santander, Dahlbeck, Pache, Ruiz, Brendan Davis, another good cubby, and De La Rosa. There's a, there's our first bow, another first Bowman Chrome. There we go. And I don't know. I gotta say, Jeremy De La Rosa just seems to follow me around everywhere. Remember, we got this guy in the mega guys. So here we got a paper version of his first as well. Let me just throw these in some plastic. It's great to see you, James, PJ, everybody, everybody, everybody. It's good to see you. Man, I should have been a singer. Could have had a good life, Tom, being a singer. <laughs> All right. Brian Hayes, Spencer Howard, Ketel Marte, Joey Votto, Keston Hira, Nick Gonzalez. I think he's going to end up being pretty decent. Eddie Diaz, the extra testicle from East Outer Space. <laughs> you guys remember? You guys remember that part in in in? Uh, God, which one was it? I don't think it wasn't up in smoke. It's, it, was it things tough? Or, uh, things tough all around. I'm trying to remember which. Um, which uh, Chi Jin Chong movie it was? Do you guys remember when they were, when they were. Um, in uh, Holland and <laughs> and they did the little skit where he, uh, fucking Cheech was E.T. <laughs> Who remembers that one? Which one was that? Yeah, the one where they went to Europe. Which one was that though? What was the movie title? Do you remember? I don't remember. Things are tough all over, I think maybe. Buster Posey, Jer uh, Jared Cole, Austin Meadows, Chris Bubik, Tyler Stevenson, Emerson Hancock, and a Hyun Choi. Caps indoors, 10 to 4. Yeah, caps. Yeah, please throw it in caps. So I can fucking see it. Still smoking. Ah, thank you, guys. Still smoking. Hmm. Got to watch that one again. I got all fucked up eating the weed salad and shit, right? Right in Amsterdam. Right in the red light district right there. It's just great. They like literally attacked the fucking maid. <laughs> Locked her in the closet. And then she attacked them. It was great. Tahana, Bart, Pearson, <laughs> Bogart, Schmidt. Uh, Morrell, Kristen Morrell first. Palman, James Beard. See what I mean? Another. We've gotten so many already. This guy's following me around too. Uh, Kevin Alcantara. Yeah. Um, but we, we, we still have not gotten Cespedes, man. I want to pull a Cespedes. At this point now, it's just like a challenge to find a Cespedes. I just don't know, man. He just doesn't, I've seen very few of them. Very, very few of them pulled. All right. See, here's another, another White Sox, but not the one we're talking about. Jared Kelly. 
Eddie Diaz. There's two firsts. Joey Bar. Oh, no, it's Brian Mountcastle. <sighs> Yolbert Sanchez. See what I mean? You see what I mean? Dude, now look at that pack. Gabriel Arias. That was a great first pack. Like, it was a great mega pack. I gotta say, that was a good one for just basic, you know, first Bowmans. That was, that was rocking. But again, see, this was the fake out. I mean, Yolbert has, you know, people talking about him a little bit, but it's um, not Cespedes. And you notice how we got two fucking White Sox out of five cards and neither were the one that I'm talking about. I just can't seem to get him. He's a tough pull, man. Well, we got two more boxes and one pack left, so we're not exactly done just yet. Come on, Cespedes. Let's see. Uh, Austin Martin, come on. Please be an Austin Martin. Damn it. Nope. <laughs> another, another guy. See, now if Antonio Gomez goes off, we're good, guys. We got at least two. Hopefully they're nicely centered. Eh, I'm going to love. Garrett Mitchell. Tyler Stevenson was good. Oh, I'm sorry, that's Austin Hendrick. Bayron Laura. And Simeon Woods Richardson. Yep, 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 yep. See, still no Blaze. No Blaze, Jordan. You know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to wash my hands real quick. <laughs> See if it changes the luck in these fucking things. Because we haven't hit all that much. We only have one solid, decent hit, and that's not even really solid. We've got more base, decent base than anything. So let me just get over here and wash my hands. Oh, what up, Spank? Yeah, you're a Spanky Spanky. You're a Spanky Cat. And you know it. Spanky Cat. And he knows it, stinky cat, and he knows it. All right, so we wash the hands. Let me dry them off properly here with my little dish rag. All right, so let me do this too. Let me get a sip of water, take a hit for Blaze. Let me Blaze for Blaze. Blaze for Blaze. Let's go. Let's get something good. Come on, Target. I mean, shit, these were a day late anyways. Y'all sent them a day late. Said they were supposed to be here yesterday. Do something different. Slash each side for luck. Slash each side for luck. Slash each side for luck. That's going to be the B-side track, guys. Slash each side for luck. On my baseball card album. Yeah, I'm putting on a baseball card album. Like, not... Like a bunch of cards in a in a folder, but just an album so you can fucking hear, you know, great music about baseball cards. See how it just changes the luck, though? You see, I mean, granted, this is just a paper, right? This is just paper. But do you see something, how, how, how that changed right there? I told you, let me go just wash, and I did. And I told you, let me just, let me just, yeah, let me just get up in there and hit. And again, it's just a paper, right? it's nothing big, but it, you, my point being is how it just changes shit. <laughs> Blackman, Anderson, Harper, Molina, Lindor, and it just changes shit. Okay? Just changing shit. Telling you guys out there who want, uh, y'all think I'm crazy, all you guys cracking cards and your box is going poo poo. Stop for a second, man. Take your ass to the fucking sink. Go to the bathroom, excuse yourself. Wash your fucking hands. You might see a difference. Just letting you know, I know it's a kooky thing. But uh, go ahead. So far, probably our best card. I mean, not a big, not a big hit by any means, but certainly, uh, uh, you know, something a little decent. Definitely got better. 
Maybe we're going out with a bang, guys. All right. J.D. Martinez, Austin Hayes, Evan White, Tavares, Chaz Chisholm. I guess had a great year. Jordan Adams, uh, C.J. Abrams, another good uh, prospect. Wander Franco, another good prospect. Of course, everybody loves Wander. Everybody loves Wander. He's going to be the next big guy that everybody... Not that everybody doesn't know about Wander, because of course they do. You're late on that train, but I'm just saying, like, when he comes up and he's playing every day, and that's going to be the one that everybody's talking about. Supposedly, they've been waiting a long time for that kid. At least three years. What, two years? Three years now? Something like that. Jordan Adams out back. Let's see. Casey Mize. Debbie Garcia. Jake Cronenworth. Luis Camposero. Okuna. And, yeah, Dylan Dangler. That's a porno name. I'm just going to say that out loud, though. Dylan Dangler. Shout out to Dylan Dangler. And Bryson Stott. Casey Martin, Philly Pack, no Cespedes. <laughs> I don't even know. I'll be honest. I don't even know if Cespedes has. There's no way Cespedes has paper. There's no way. So he's like a Chrome card only. Um, because I I've opened enough of this shit to where I know that if I haven't hit a Chrome one, I, that's all right. But I know I should have at least hit a few of the papers, and I I don't have one paper. Nolan Gorman, he's a pretty decent guy they were talking about. He's cooled off, though. Shane Bieber, Yelich, Murphy, Lewis Rucky, Scherzer. Is it Jessian Rosario? And, God, what is his name? Ella Harris? Ella Harris Montero? Ella Harris, I think that's Ella Harris Montero. Junior Severino, first, Max Meyer, and Nolan Gorman, of course. That's crazy. I see all these people like, oh, man, I won box, and I had a fucking blue, you know, Blaze Jordan auto, and all this shit. Well, here we are, six boxes deep, but all we got is one Blaze. Just my luck. One Blaze, or two, one chrome, one paper. <laughs> Come on. Let's get some big shit. Austin Hendrick again. Come on. Drew Waters. Bryson Stott. Dylan Carlson is a good ball player. Another Hunter Bishop. And Austin Hendrick. Come on. Let's send all these giants to Sheena. <laughs> nah, you know, you know, you never know. Like I say, guys, you know, they're prospects, so some of these guys may never make it to the big leagues. The guy that nobody knows about might end up being a guy that, that's pretty darn good. I mean, look at Max Muncie. He was a guy that nobody really talked about as he came up. Was, you know, not picked high. And all of a sudden, it's like the MVP of the Dodgers, realistically, if you look at his numbers. So, I mean, the problem is, is I don't they know too many people in the hobby that are buying Max Muncie shit. So, as far as, like, a flipper is concerned or an investor... You're not making too much money. This guy's following me around, too. Jose Tina. There you go. Julio Rodriguez. That's always cool. He's a good ball player. Everybody likes. Nick Gonzalez. Another solid prospect. Ooh, we got an auto. There we go. Angel Martinez. Look at that auto. Look at that auto. It's like he crossed. Look at it. He, he, it's like he crossed his whole, look at that. He wrote his whole name and everything. That's pretty awesome. Then circled the whole thing. <laughs> That's awesome. CJ Abrams and Jose Tina for a C. So there we go, guys. It's, don't tell me after washing my hands, this first box after washing my hands wasn't better. I think if you're saying it wasn't, you'd be lying. You watched me open four boxes previous, no autos. In here, Julio Rodriguez, who's a top prospect. Um, Nick Gonzalez, who's solid. And, and that auto isn't any of a uh, big guy. It's not a huge player, but uh, it's always nice to get an auto. Can't go wrong. And again, he's, he's a prospect, so you, know, you never know. If he comes up and he's the next biggest thing, you know you're you're in the money. 
See, and he was born in fucking 02. <laughs> He's 19 years old. <laughs> this kid is 19 years old. Gosh. He's the number 23 prospect for the Indians at the current moment. So he's 23 on the Indians list. So, and he's 19 years old. That's a pretty cool auto for a 19-year-old. I like it. I like it, man. Shout out to you, Angel. Angel. Shout out to you, my man. Yeah, man. It's cool shit. It's cool shit, man. I'll put the auto in there so we got the cool shit in there. Boom. All right, so last box, guys. Last box. Last box mojo, as they say. We're going to do just like we did before, right? Slash every fucking side. There we go. Do just like we did on the last one. Last box mojo. Last box mojo. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go, guys. Last box mojo. Those are bigger cards. We have a couple, you know, decent little hits, like I said. The Ed Howard Blue, too. Let me throw that in a quick little holder if it's not too many. The Ed Howard Blue. Those are our three top hits, I would say. Hopefully they will bring us luck in those megas. Let's get a big mega auto again. Josh Bell, Mookie Betts, Bregman, Abreu, Tatis, Grayson Rodriguez, and Jordan Groshans. <clears throat> Luis Gonzalez, Richardson, and Ramirez. Ramirez! Oh, let me get some more. Let me get some more sleeves, guys. Do -do -do -do. Remember, guys, tonight, 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock tonight. Set the alarm on your phones. We will be live, not on this channel, not for another 19 days, but we will be live on Smoke and Scan 2 on YouTube. Just Smoke and Scan 1 1 and you'll find us. Search it. Keep both of those going, and uh, a few days we'll be back on this one that you're watching me on now. Mount Castle, Rendon, Javier, Marquez, Otani, Callahan, Logan Davidson. Nothing big. Mauricio, Bobby Witt Jr., this kid's a stud, and uh, Royce Lewis. Yeah. You guys remember Bobby Witt for the Angels? Any of you Angel fans will remember the, you uh, Cali guys. That's, that's obviously his, little, his son, Bobby Witt Jr., and the kid can really play. He had two home runs the other day in the game. It's not a pitcher like his dad. And, oh, yeah, there we go. See, changing that look. Those last two boxes, baby. Let's go. Jimenez, rookie. Dylan Carlson, rookie. Cabrera, Kepler, Torres. Drew Romero. Or Xavier Edwards. Seth Beer, I love that last name. Alex Thomas and a Blaze. Can't go wrong with the Blaze. Jordan. J -j -j Jordan, please, Jordan, J -j -j Jordan, Clemson guy, <clears throat> all right, let's go, got three packs left, guys, and then you're done, then you don't have to endure this anymore, <laughs> what's his name, Taryn, Taryn Vavar, Taryn Vavar, Blake Snell, Darvish, Screwball, Sc Scoo yeah, Screwball, Schmidt, McKenzie, and Marsh, another Abrams, Wander Franco, Bitsko, and Vavar. All right, man. Last two packs, guys. Both mega packs. 
Hopefully we hit an Austin Martin or a Blaze Jordan. We didn't hit any Austin Martin at all in any of these packs. Not paper, not chrome, not nothing. So let's hope. Ooh, hold on. Hold on. We're going to do it just like Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. Now, we got a B for Boston Red Sox, and Blaze Jordan is the guy that we want. Now, granted, he isn't the only one. It could be Jeter Downs. Because, you know, we already got one of those. But let's hope it's Blaze Jordan. Come on, Blaze. Dang. Nick York. We already got Nick York, too. I forgot. Ah. Oh, my. I've gotten three Marco Lucianos in six boxes. Thank you, Tops. You're Tops, you have fantastic, and I mean fantastic, collation. And all I can think of is either Tops' is terrible collation or it's Sheena continuing to haunt me. Thank you, Sheena. <laughs> Marco Luciano. Gerald Perdomo. Of course, it couldn't be three Blaze Jordans, right, guys? All right. Me. Joe Adele. Matthew Thompson, another uh, white sock we don't want. And, of course, Nick York. Meet Mike Dick and Mike York. Mike York and Mike Dick. <laughs> Stinks, get out of here. You're trying to attack stuff. I see you. I see him. He's on the prowl right now, guys. He's hunting on the side. I got to keep an eye on him. All right, last pack mojo, guys. Let's keep it positive. Come on. Get out of here, Stinks. Come on. Hold on. Get. This pack thing seems kind of thin. But I, I'll be... Come on. Stinks, get out, man. Hold on. Get out of here. Get. Go. Go. You're going you're gonna to step all over the cards. Come on. Jordan Westberg, he doesn't care. He's just standing right there. He's like, oh, okay. You mean you mean don't stay here? Okay, I'm going to stay here then. And see, here we go. We got another Red Sox, Jeter down, Mike York, and not the one we want. And, of course, we got this guy. I just want to play with baseball cards too, huh? I love you, buddy. I love you. I love you too, buddy. Just good boy. Just good boy. I just don't want you to step on all the cards. Just good boy. I love you. <laughs> love you is big nose. Okay. 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 Don't scream. All right. Let's get this last pack out of here. Cheater Downs. Indy 500. J.J. Blade, Matt Manning, and Westbrook. Oof, that was a rough few boxes. That was rough. Everybody kind of, like, posted their stuff. I don't know if I should post this stuff. I'm only going to get clowned, guys. Like, oh, really? That's all you got? Shit, hopefully Angel Martinez turns out to be Francisco Lindor number two. That's all I can hope, right, at this point. But then you say to yourself, how many great draft picks have there been by the Indians? There's been a few. Lindor was one. Uh, Albert Bell was another. Um, just a very few amount. <laughs> the list kind of... Kenny Lofton. Kenny Lofton was another good one. You know, Kenny Lofton was a good one. Um, I'm trying to think of how many others. Not many others. Not many. Not a whole bunch. Charles Nagy. <sighs> Without Googling, who else? Joe Carter? Joe Carter. Joe Carter. Brains letting out. All right, guys. Andre Dawson, he wasn't an Indian. 
When was Andre Dawson an Indian? Andre Dawson was 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 drafted by the Expos, from what I remember. And then played as a Cub, played as a Marlin. But he was he was uh, not an Indian. Jim Thome, yeah, Jim Thome, I forgot he was good. Yeah, he's underrated. Jim Thome was good. So there's been a few, a handful, a good handful, but not a ton. Not a ton. Shane Bieber, Shane Bieber's one. He's a good, he's a good player, right? So there's some out there, I guess. They're not terrible, completely terrible. There's teams that are worse. Yes, but uh, you also say to yourself, how how shitty have they been? How many picks have they had? High picks have they had? You know, there's a lot of guys I can think of right now. I've been waiting for a while to see if they ever come up, and who knows if they ever do, you know? They ain't like the Pirates. And the, yeah, well, I mean, the Pirates, they, you know, that kid Nick Gonzalez that I had, this kid, I think he's going to be a, he's a good prospect for the Pirates right here. This kid. But again, he's a while away from, from anything. You're not going to see him for a year or two at least. Too young, you know. I mean, it's, and that's what's crazy. You see some of these guys are 18 and 19. Some of them are 20, right? And you say to yourself, well, they're still in the minors. They still have two years to come up into the league. And then you see guys like, a, like Soto and Acuna that were 19 and they are in the major leagues, hitting the shit out of the ball at 19. Like, you think to yourself, they can't even drink with the team legally for another three years. <laughs> they can't even have a beer. Or at least another two years, two and a half, whatever. You know? It'll be a while till they can go into a bar and enjoy himself. Not to say he ain't enjoying himself in a bar, because I'd be willing to bet since he is. But, you know, it... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's a crazy thing when you think to yourself how young they are. Nowadays, if you're 23 years old and you're in the minors, you're old. Like, you're an old guy. Like, by the, you're, oh, you're just coming up and you're 24, 25? Huh? Like, uh, uh, Pete Alonso just did it. He was like 25 years old. Something like that. 26. Stinks. Birdies are coming to say hi to stinks. All right, guys. I'll see you guys tonight at 9. 9. 9. Smoke and Scan 2. Twitch. Twitter. DLive. I'll be live on all of them. And YouTube. Smoke and Scan 2 on YouTube. Smoke and Scan 2 on YouTube. Follow that one for another 17 days. And I want you to follow both of them. That way we have a backup channel in case I get kicked off again. This channel that I'm on right now will be back live every night or when I go live all the time in about 17 days, guys. The 29th. I'll be back on the 29th just to let you know. Again, the exact date. And I think today is like, what, the 11th or something today? The 12th, 11th? I don't know. So something like that. So we're close. We're close. This, this close that close all right so i'll see you guys tonight not manana well, i'll see you manana on stringers live but tonight we're gonna party and it's sns time let's go all right guys i'll see you nine o'clock p.m pacific standard time see you guys later